Hello guys. Today I want to propose to calculate the clamping air cylinder. Retracting force. Let's start. We have design conditions. Cylinder diameter 30 mm. Piston rod diameter 20 mm. Air pressure 0.48 MPa. Question. What clamping force can be guaranteed by this pneumatic cylinder? Air cylinder selection. First. Determine the load factor following the purpose. Static operation clamping. Load factor. Eta equals 0.7 or less. Second. Determine the operating pressure. Generally, set the regulator to 85% of the source air pressure. OK, next. Determine the direction in which the force of the cylinder will act. Extending side, or retracting side. In our case, retracting. Now let's define the area of the cylinder. The area of the cylinder for retracting. Equal. Pi. Multiply by the radius squared of piston. Minus. Pi. Multiply by the radius squared of piston rod. Pi. Is a mathematical constant. 3.14. Area of the cylinder equals 392.5 millimeters squared. A equals 0.0003925 meters squared. Determine the force of the cylinder. The cylinder force equal. F equals. Area of the cylinder. Times operating pressure. And times factor. Guaranteed force of the air cylinder equal. 112.1 newtons. Guaranteed force of the air cylinder equal 112.1 newtons. By considering clamp lever as a rigid element, with negligible mass. So, the forces acting on a rigid beam were. F, the point where net piston force is applied. R, the point where clamping force is applied. O, the pivot point. From free body diagram and Newton's first law of equilibrium, we have R multiply by LR equals F multiply by LF R multiply by 55 equals 112.1 multiply by 20 R equals 112.1 multiply by 20 divided by 55 r equals 40.81 newtons so this power clamp cylinder can guarantee clamping force r equals 40.81 newtons i hope you will find this video useful if you like this video please subscribe to more content like this in the future thank you for watching